What's going on, fam? It's Entertainer, Motivator, Educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Gamecock News update. Today, I'm talking about a huge, huge recruitment um, that we just got. Jayshon Barham, a four-star recruit out of Baltimore, St. Francis. Uh, he is, uh, depending on what you look at, on Rivals, he's the number 92 player overall. On the 24-7 composite score, he's the 108 player overall and number eight linebacker. Doesn't really matter. It's a huge, 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 huge win for the Gamecocks. Um, and we're going to talk about this, man, after this, man. One or two things, man. I'm not going to bore y'all with the intros. One, if you like the content, man, please support the channel on my Patreon page. Um, you can support me as low as $5. Please go check it out. Please go look at that. I'm trying to grow this channel and also trying to do this full time. Need your support to do that. So go to patreon.com for slash Lucky Murray. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and share the video, man. Share, 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 share. It helps out a ton. So let's get into this. Man, so Jay Sean Brown. Brown, excuse me. Um, definitely surprised a lot of people when he announced the game Cox over 23 other schools. Young man is six foot three, two hundred and thirty pounds. Was recruited to play kind of the edge rusher in our defense, but with his size and athleticism, can play all four spots as far as linebacker at South Carolina. It's looking like our recruitment, our national standings is going to increase because of this young man. So I'm going to read a little article real quick, and I'm going to give you my opinion on this. Man, it says that top 24 linebacker, Jayshon Brown, Kept quiet during a recruitment that went on for more than two years, really doing interviews and staying out of the spotlight despite his lofty rankings. And it remained that way up until Saturday afternoon. The Baltimore St. Francis standout unveiled his decision moments ago, and he picked South Carolina. His finalists were Oklahoma, Penn State, and Maryland. It's a huge recruiting win for the game. Cost the six foot three, two thirty pound Barham is the number eight linebacker and number. 108 play in the industry generated 24 7 sports composite when it came to making a decision barm consistently spoke about the feel of a program and how his family felt with the program family making sure my family is comfortable and i am comfortable he said about what was high on his list when it's time to make a decision he made an official visit to south carolina and also took an unofficial visit to campus and his familiarity there i said a word wrong doesn't really matter so what i think about this man while i'm watching the florida state and south carolina game i i think that's a huge win man i think that if we're trying to win the sec we need players like jay sean we need players that are going to be playmakers that's going to help and may help immediately i think that uh, this young man, his character, spoke about his character being a lot of these guys who are high ranking guys. Uh, they drag out their recruitment. Um, they make it very clear that they are want to be wine and dine. And I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that, because as a, as a young man and getting that experience to choose your college and see what the experience is going to offer, it's only going to happen maybe once, maybe twice. And the reason why I say twice is because of transfer porter. And if you're a high enough recruit, you will get re-recruited again. But for a lot of these young men, this is the one and only time that's going to happen. So with this young man coming to South Carolina and Shane Beamer and Coach White on the defense, they are looking to really change the, not only the coach of South Carolina, but also the makeup of the South Carolina defense. And our defense played really well this year because, you know, we got some, some guys out there that were some dogs. And it really went out the people. Now, if our offense could have just scored a little more points, I think we could have won eight to nine games this year. If our offense could have scored more points, because that was some t some games that our defense kept us in the games. To have a four star player like this, he is clearly the highest rated player in our recruiting class. And now the early recruiting class is coming up. The early signing period is going to come up on the fifth, I believe, and then that's another one in February. So we can very well jump. In February, but typically what happens is that the big names are signed now, and if you're signed in the later periods, that's the scholarships are pretty much taken. Um, so I think this is crazy, man. I, I think this is crazy. I think that this is something that is 
truly amazing. Right now, I think we're sitting at number 18 as far as recruiting. So here's what I need you to do because I'm just a man behind the camera. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. What do you think about this? And also, man, please go check out that Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Lucky Murray if you want exclusive, exclusive game, cock, football, sports, whatever. And once again, man, it's an entertainer, motivator, educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with a quick, quick video. It's not really quick, but it doesn't matter because we got Jay Sean Brown. Barm. I said, I'm saying this last name wrong, guys. I've been practicing this. It's a Barm. I think that's what it is. Barm. Four star recruit out of Baltimore. Chose us. Top 100 player. Depending on who you look at. Let me know what you think about the comment section below. Like always, until next time, people.